Big Rocks friends. This is Whitney with Big Rocks Organizing and I'm here to share some gardening tips with you. So today we're going to get our seeds organized so that we can begin planting our garden. One of the wonderful things that has come out of this really hard situation right now is that it's reignited my passion for gardening. I used to be a volunteer master gardener and I volunteered hundreds of hours teaching people how to grow things, and answering their gardening questions, which was a lot of fun. So being stuck at home right now has actually turned into a positive thing because I've been able to get back into gardening and also I feel good being able to plant some extra food for my neighbors, friends, and family to be able to share with them during this time. So hopefully you can plant a row as well and share it with your friends, family, and neighbors. So let's go ahead and we'll get started here with the seeds. So as you can see, I have this um, kind of huge pile of seeds here. What we're gonna do is take some freezer zip top bags and we're going to label one for each of three seasons for gardening. Spring, summer, and then fall slash winter. And I'm throwing in a fourth bag just for flowers. Okay. So now I'm gonna do our first step of organizing, which is sorting. So I'm going to sort my seeds by season. And what do I mean by season? Which seeds fall under which season? Well, I have a trusty planting guide, a one-page guide that I put together for you. So if you live in the Willamette Valley, this will be handy and you'll know what to plant each month in your garden. So the spring items are things that we're gonna be planting between February and April. Summer are things that we're planting in May and June. And then July through October are actually our fall and winter gardening items. And then we have our fourth category for flowers. So let's get started. I've got some beets and radishes here. These are both spring. I've got basil here that falls into our summer category. Spinach. This could be spring or fall, but I'm going to put this into spring because I'd like to plant some soon. Green onions. Those are mostly planted in the fall. Green beans. Didn't even know that we still had some of these. Summer item. Cucumber, cucumbers and arugula are also summer, as is the zucchini squash. Then we've got two different kinds of snow peas. Those are a spring item. Carrots can be planted either for summer or in the fall to overwinter, but usually you want to plant a specific type of carrot that is meant to overwinter. These are just our regular carrot seeds, so I'm going to put these in our spring. Cucumbers for pickling, those go into the summer category. More snow peas. Got a lettuce mix, we'll put that into summer. Okay, as you can see, I don't have very many fall and winter seeds right now, but that's good for me to know because I can be looking online or looking at gardening catalogs and planning ahead to see what I want to plant in July. If you are ordering things from nurseries, you kind of want to give yourself some lead time and just check out their websites and see what changes they have. Some nurseries are not taking orders right now. They're trying to catch up on all of their back orders. They've been inundated, and there's also somewhat of, I understand, a shortage with getting supplies. So just try to plan ahead whenever you can, and of course, we have to be flexible and just go with the flow right now. So now that I have my seeds separated into different categories, I want to check the dates, because seeds are really only good for about three years. Anything older than that, you want to let go of, because those are going to be far less likely to germinate. And why go to all of that trouble to plant them and just have your heart broken when they don't come up through the soil? So I'm going to check all of the dates. You can usually find it on the bottom of the packet on the back. It'll say packed for, and then it'll have a month and a year. So these carrot seeds were packed for December 2018. So they're still good. We're going to keep anything that is from um, 2020, 2019, and 2018. Anything that's 2017 and older, we're gonna let go of today. I'm gonna rubber band all of my like seeds together. So here I've got my beets, snow peas, and my carrots. I'm gonna put these into my spring bag. Oops. 
Okay, now that I've got my seeds together in my four bags, I'm gonna go ahead and put them all into one larger zip top bag. And that's just so that they don't get lost. So most people don't know that you should actually store your seeds in the freezer. And you don't wanna store them in the door or anywhere right near where um, the temperature is gonna be fluctuating if you are opening and closing the door. You wanna store them actually more deeply inside your freezer. So that's why I'm putting them all in one bag so they don't get lost in there. If you'd like some super duper organizing brownie points, you could write the date that you last checked your seeds so that next year when you go through them or months down the road when you're planting your fall garden, you'll know how recently you've gone through and culled your seeds.